Well, this warmer than usual winter is coming with its fair share of problems. Alabama is expecting potentially strong storms later this week. But for now, it's the pollen that's the problem. People who experience allergies are getting symptoms earlier this year. WSFA 12 News reporter Brady Talbert talked with public health officials. He's joining us live now with more. Brady. Yeah, Mark, for many of us, a simple allergy pill is going to do the trick. But as this pollen moves across our area, some people may need something just a little more intense. Pollen is piling up on windshields and walls. If it gets warm and it's been wet, the, 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 the flowers and trees bloom, the grass starts growing, and we see a lot more of those uh, grass and tree pollens that are pretty common in the spring. Dr. West Stubblefield with the Alabama Department of Public Health says allergy season typically starts around early March and lasts until the summertime. According to pollen.com, the top allergens in Montgomery right now come from maple, elm, and juniper trees. Your body's response to pollen depends on your location, among other factors. It has something to do with what you're sensitized to, where you live, um, your particular makeup, your, your genetics. Seasonal allergies can cause you to have a runny nose or watery eyes. For this, Dr. Stubblefield recommends an oral histamine like Benadryl uh, as a brand name. And then there's also things like the non-sedating or, or the ones that don't make you sleepy like uh, Zyrtec or Claritin. But for someone with more severe symptoms, he recommends the prescription medication Singular or an over-the-counter steroid nasal spray. It's a low dose steroid that's sprayed directly into your nose where most of the most of the symptoms are the congestion and the sneezing. Um, and that helps to dampen that immune response down so that you, your symptoms aren't quite as severe. Yeah, if this is something that's proving to be a real problem for you, Dr. Stubblefield recommends visiting an allergist to get your allergens tested. You could also get an allergy shot. Mark. All right, Brady, thanks for that advice. Public health officials also suggest you work to get rid of other allergens in your home, like dust mites, animal dander, mold and mildew, to further reduce those allergy symptoms.